Surf's up, beach bums. We got ourselves a coastal showdown for the ages. An East Coast, West Coast battle that makes the 90s hip-hop feud look like child's play. Residents of these two sun-soaked cities give new meaning to the the fun-in-the-sun lifestyle. Chock full of Latin American influence and a flair for the luxurious. Miami and San Diego are two of America's most popular cities. Located on the southeastern coast of Florida, Miami has a population of nearly 440,000 people, making it the second largest metropolitan area in the state. Even though Miami is only the 44th largest city in the country, the city has the third largest skyline in the entire U.S. with over 300 high-rises. Miami is also noted for being the only major American city to be founded by a woman. Julia Tuttle, a local citrus grower and a wealthy Cleveland native, was the original owner of the land upon which the city was built. However, and most importantly, the great American poet and recently slap artist Will Smith once said that Miami has the party in the city where the heat is on all night on the beach till the break of dawn. San Diego, located in the southwestern coast of California, has a population of 1.38 million people, making it the eighth largest city in the country. According to local historian and head anchorman of the Channel 4 news team, Ron Burgundy, San Diego is the greatest city in the history of mankind. Well, Miami's got something to say about that. But let's cut to the chase. From their job markets to the cuisine, we're going to lay out all of the good and bad for each city. So grab your Ray-Bans and douse yourself in tanning oil, because things are about to get salty. Let's get it on! Round 1. Job Markets Let's be honest, the quality of life in any city is only as good as the strength of its economy. Just ask Detroit. And one of the best indicators of a quality economy is a robust job market. When it comes to the job markets of both San Diego and Miami, one of these is quickly becoming a tech powerhouse, and it's probably not where you would traditionally expect. Ten Hut! San Diego has long been the home of several branches of the U.S. military. Because of its strategic position on the Pacific coast and its deep water port, The region is proud to be the home of the largest concentration of military in the entire world. More than 115,000 active duty servicemen and women call San Diego their homes. They work alongside 3,000 military reservists and 29,000 civilians that are directly employed in federal defense jobs. It spans a number of the region's economic segments, including scientific research and innovation, healthcare, manufacturing, and tourism. Together, the total direct and indirect employment make up 23% of the current labor force in San Diego. The total defense contribution to San Diego's gross regional product, also seen as GRP, is roughly 56.2 billion US dollars and is responsible for over 350,000 jobs. While San Diego might have their real life versions of Maverick and Iceman flying around, Miami, on the other hand, is home to what is now being dubbed Silicon Beach. Southern Florida's robust business conditions and lack of state income taxes continue to draw in both businesses, business people, and just people alike all to the Miami metro area. In 2022, the city drew in a record amount of venture capital, surpassing $5.3 billion in its second straight yearly increase. A lot of that money has been used to fuel a recent surge in tech jobs. From 2017 until the end of 2022, jobs increased by almost 12% in Miami-Dade, outpacing the national growth rate of 2.4%. In that time, 320 companies moved to the area of Miami, creating about 20,000 new job openings. The tech sector accounted for the largest share of those jobs at 4,400 positions, and more than half of them were in 2021 and 2022. Between the two cities and their thriving job markets, it's a very close call this round. Maybe if we dive deeper into matters of the wallet, one will take the lead in our city comparison. 
It's round two, and we're talking about the cost of living. Here's a disappointing fact. From 2020 to 2022, prices across the world, the entire globe, have risen by an average of 8.1%. Now more than ever, where you live significantly impacts how much money you have left in your pocket. And unfortunately, people in San Diego and Miami have to earn a lot of money just to live comfortably. The Magic City, also known as Miami, is the second least affordable place to live in the entire United States. The cost of living in Miami is now more expensive than that of Los Angeles and just slightly cheaper than in New York City. Average home ownership costs in Miami are roughly $2,650 per month, which equates to just under $32,000 per year. However, the cost of living in Miami is driven by factors besides housing. Prices in Miami had increased nearly 3% from 2021 to 22, with the biggest price increases seen in transportation and food in addition to housing. Overall, the cost of living in Miami is 11.6% higher than the national average. So while Miami's housing prices have skyrocketed, homeownership in San Diego is a severely pricey goal. In September of 2022, the average single-family home costs an average of $915,000. We previously mentioned that San Diego ranks third, only one spot behind Miami, as the nation's most expensive housing market. However, after the housing market, San Diego outpaces Miami in terms of cost in almost all categories. Renting in San Diego is not much easier on the wallet. The median monthly rent for a two-bedroom unit is $2,500 and $2,000 just for a one-bedroom. These outrageous rent costs are 6% higher than the national average. Food costs in San Diego are 13% higher than the national average, with a monthly tab of nearly $300 spent on groceries. Gas prices are disgustingly high at $5.5 or more per gallon, and of course, who could forget about California's good old state taxes? All in all, it's actually about 20% cheaper to live in Miami than it is in San Diego. However, Miami is doing its very best to catch up as more and more people migrate to the Sunshine State. After two rounds of painful financial comparison, it's time to change the tune. And speaking of the tune, round three is about the music. If these two places have something in common musically, it's that the music is meant to be loud. That's where the commonalities end. With that said, the music from both San Diego and Miami is heavily influenced by the environment and the sounds reflect the demographics of the people. San Diego's track record of musical milestones dates back decades and includes a whole lot of famous artists. And with its combination of great venues and seriously tuned in audiences, San Diego is bound to remain a musical launching pad for a long time to come. While the range of genres that come out of San Diego is pretty limited, the city has actually produced some legendary rock and roll and pop musicians. Frank Zappa, Eddie Vedder, Tom Waits, Blink-182, and the Stone Temple Pilots all have their origins in the San Diego region. When it comes to live music, San Diego rocks it as a prime tour stop and home to impressive local talent. From the central city up to the north county and to the east, Dozens of venues in all sorts of shapes and sizes host everything, and we mean everything, from acoustic folk music and intimate shows to A-list rock and roll and big production elaborately choreographed pop, not to mention the city welcomes music festivals galore. Miami, on the other hand, ignores musical genres completely. It's always been the epitome of world music, entertainment, and a place of attraction for all kinds of people. The amalgamation of different regional music has made Miami music some of the most diverse and progressive. Reggae, Calypso, and Soca from the Caribbean people, Samba from Brazil, Bachata from the Dominican, and Conga from Cuba, everything comes under the same shade of Miami music. Miami has given the world unbelievably unique musicians, such as Gloria Estefan, Enrique Iglesias, Pitbull, DJ Khaled, and Ricky Martin. Just like the music of Miami, Miami's live music venue scene is also eclectic. The city offers small pubs and dive bars, outdoor theaters, and full-fledged stadiums that attract big-name artists all year long. 
The best part is, with weather as beautiful as Southern Florida's, you can catch an outdoor show any time of year. And before you go to any show, it's always smart to grab a bite to eat. So that's round four, food. And now for our final round, we go to the most important judge of all, our stomachs. Pop a Pepsi AC, everybody, chomp on a Tums, and pour yourself a glass of milk, because things are about to get spicy. From 1960 to 1990, the percentage of non-Hispanic white people in Miami went from a staggering 90% down to 10%, with a vast majority of immigration coming from Cuba. It's hard to deny the Latin American and Caribbean influences found throughout the city of Miami. Cuban flavors reign supreme, but influences from all over are making their presence known in the best of ways. Think delicacies from everywhere from South America to the islands of Haiti and Puerto Rico. The flavor combinations are as refreshing and as vibrant as the city itself. When it comes to restaurants, it's all about the Michelin stars, baby. Florida just got its first ever Michelin star guide, and the Magic City proudly holds the most stars in the state, clocking in with 11 one-star restaurants and one two-star restaurant. The accolades earned by Miami only cemented what Miamians have known forever. The food is awesome. In a straight-up Michelin battle, Miami takes the cake. San Diego only has four restaurants that have earned a Michelin star. However, San Diego boasts something else Miami doesn't have, and that is a three-star Michelin restaurant. Besides the three-star restaurant, for generations and generations, San Diegans have enjoyed traditional Mexican cuisine. In recent years, San Diego has seen an influx of New Mexican restaurants offering a variety of modern dishes that combine traditional recipes with new ingredients, flavors, and techniques. From inventive tacos to unique takes on classic dishes, Mexican food in San Diego has evolved to offer something for everyone. Believe it or not, many believe that the backbone of San Diego's culinary scene is the food trucks. The range of cuisine is limitless, and the food trucks of San Diego constantly push the boundaries of what a mobile kitchen can achieve. While the classics include things like taco trucks and American barbecue, some truck owners are known for their unique specialties. One such popular truck is named the German taco truck. Now those are two cuisines you've surely never imagined together. Folks, this week the competition is a close one. With so much in common on the surface, it's easy to think that these two cities are alike. After some thorough investigation, let's hope you have an idea of which city you think reigns supreme. Let us know which coast you're repping in the comments. Are you rolling with the notorious B.I.G. in the East Coast with Miami? Or are you showing some California love with San Diego? Comment with caution, however. We don't intend to re-spark the bloody feud of the late 90s. 